Hi, I'm Isaac, and this is my dog, Chloe, and these are a few of our favorite things. Hello. Today we'll be talking about two very similar products from my favorite dog brand, Mobile Dog Gear, formerly Overland Dog Gear. I do have to be up front with you at first and do let you know mm. that I have received free product from this company before. However, neither of which are the two products we will be talking about today which will be the Mobile Dog Gear Week Away Tote and the Rolling Week Away Bag. These bags can be found on the website overlanddoggear.com. The large Week Away Tote costs $59.99 and comes in black, pink, and blue. It also comes in a smaller Week Away Bag for small dogs at a price of $49.99 in colors of black, blue, and pink. The Roll Away Week Away bag comes in at $89.99 and comes in in black and blue. As I stated earlier, these two products are very similar. I will show you the main features on the Week Away tote and move on to show you the difference is in the Week Away Roll Away bag. The main features of both these bags are a large compartment where you will find two lined food containers that can each hold up to 15 cups of food. Separated by a divider for more storage such as toys and leashes and collars. It also has a large zipper compartment up top which where I usually keep my dog's records. Up front, you will find another zipping compartment which contains bowls, two silicon bowls where you can fit two cups of either water and food. One issue with this bag Unlike most of Mobile Dog Gear's products is, it does not come with a poop bag dispenser. However, I just put a little poop can bag container hanging off the side. With the Week Away Tote, you get this little pouch in the back, great for storing towels and other things. So let's move her on over to the Rolling Week Away bag. This bag I have packed showing you similar items that you can put in your bag and how we like to travel with our bag. The main feature of the Week Away Roll Away bag is that it can be taken and wheeled through different areas which is great for taking to hotels. So what we usually do is take this top strap and put one of her favorite toys on top. We use the nylon strap to secure a towel. Things we always pack in our bag is our first aid kit, which we will explain what is in our first aid kit in a later video. We have one of our diving toys. As you can see, Chloe really likes her toys and she's getting pretty excited here. Also different dog apparel, such as her jerseys, collars, bandanas and other things can be found in here. On the other side is what is what we showed earlier is the lined compartments. We usually use one of the lined compartments for treats, which I think Chloe deserves a treat. And the other for food. Like we said earlier, these can contain up to 15 cups of kibble. 
other things found in this bag are extra poop kit bags, Chloe's shots, and Chloe's tags. But you can throw other things up there as you would like. This bag also has a mini storage pocket found here, which typically we don't use. Found on both of the bags, you can find luggage tags. Great for explaining who the bag belongs to. Up front again is the silicone bowls. With the rollaway bag, it has this little mesh compartment, great for holding scoops, lids, and other devices. Also on both these bags, they have these side compartments. Here we usually keep Chloe's grooming supplies. And on the other side of the bag, you can find our poop bag and extra water bottles. I will put a link to the products in the description. If you could just check out this brand and give them a big like, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you see, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button below. And have a good day.